What's going on guys, it's Michael of GF, and today I'm going to be doing another custom LEGO minifigure showcase video, and for this video I've got three figures to celebrate the premiere of Arrow Season 4, and for this video I've got the Green Arrow himself, along with Diggle in his Season 4 suit, and Black Canary, three figures that I've been working on for the past month and a half or so, of just on and off work, and I finally wrapped up all three of them this past week, and it was definitely quite a process making Green Arrow and uh, Diggle, because uh, some, that's really where all the decision making went into, because uh, making Black Canary was more straightforward given how much reference it's available because her costume really hasn't changed in season three and a bunch of stuff that I'm going to get into but that's pretty much all I have to say for this intro so without further ado let's get started. All right so the new suit in season four Arrow season four with the green arrow suit I think is really like at the point that Captain America's suit is in the MCU to where it's probably not going to get any better than it is because it is just flat out awesome and I did my best to replicate it in Lego here and I do just want to clarify so I'm not talking about these mini figures for like 10 minutes each. Uh, they are fully 100% hand painted by me. Everything you see on these figures is fully painted. I mean, excluding like the base skin tone, obviously. But yes, yeah, so you'll see right off the bat, I'm just gonna talk about the accessories and get them out of the way. You can see that he does have a uh, actual arrow, which I've used on pretty much all my arrow minifigures, my season two suit and arsenal before this. Uh, this is a basic brick forge arrow just with the tip painted green and uh, there's really not much else to say, but it's a given for all my arrow minifigures and so uh, you saw it here as well. But if we go ahead and remove the bow just to give you a better look at it and I just want to say right now that if I spent like the same amount of time that I spent on all three of these minifigures just working on the bow I could have made one hell of a kick-ass bow but unfortunately uh, due to time constraints this is really all I, I was able to do and so what it is is it's a, it's a basic brick forge bow just uh, with like the top halves of like a compound bow glued into the middle here with a uh, thread running through uh, the top and bottom glued in and then painted green along with a lot of gray outlining and that's really I think it works it's simple and not fully accurate but I thought at least getting like these wheels in there in the center would make it look somewhat like the bow that he's had uh, in season three and at least it looks the same in season four but uh, yeah that's really it for the uh, bow that I made for the figure but uh, anyway you can see that the minifigure itself there was a lot of decision making or at least a couple things that I decided that I, I knew I had to change for this figure to make sure that it wasn't too similar looking to the suit that I had made last year and so what that means is I had to basically go about the hood in a whole new way and I know some of you guys probably don't like the hood and that's totally cool but I think that this hood really does work and is uh, you know was a necessary change for the minifigure because I did actually try to take a Lego hood again and uh, apply it to this minifigure after I had painted the head it just I didn't think it looked right for the new Arrow season 4 suit it's just too big and it, ju it just doesn't feel or look right so I decided that I would sculpt the hood and not continue painting this and so the sculpted hood was definitely kind of involved to uh, for me to make because as some of you guys probably know sculpting is not exactly my forte and that's why my Halo 5 Guardians showcase is going to be one big collaboration uh, showcase so I mean uh, making the hood was definitely a little bit complicated but I still think it turned out really nice and uh, after a ton of sanding and a lot of different layers of paint I managed to smooth the whole thing out and make it look pretty much as close as I think I was able to get it to the arrow season and four hood and so yeah um, I did paint like various lines and different things on it but I mean aside from that we're just gonna go ahead and remove it for just a minute so you can get a better look at the head and the head is an entirely new design the head uses uh, like an entirely new design for the mask an entirely new design for the uh, for the mouth itself I mean the likeness due to the mouth being different the eyes are cleaner the the facial hair is more organized and cleaner and each one obviously being painted on uh, dot for dot and I mean it just overall looks better and the mask is outlined now and this head I think couldn't have been better and it's exactly what I was going for and I think it just turned out absolutely awesome um, but putting the head the, at least the hood back on rather uh, you can see the torso does actually have some three-dimensional elements and on top of the buttons the insane amount of buttons that the arrow season 4 suit has I painted 41 buttons onto this minifigure in total which is insane but the accessories you see on the torso are three-dimensional using some tiny tactical chem lights which I did trim a little bit um, but they are accurate looking and I think that the fact that they're three-dimensional just really makes the minifigure stand out and using a lot of glue and a lot of different layers of paint they are secured onto the torso and the little circular bits that you see in, in between them those are actually sliced up bits of one by one plant pieces and I'm sure you probably know what I'm talking about uh, the legs feature a lot of detail and that detail being uh, like the laces that I've done before that was time consuming at least two hours on those different straps the same uh, boot design on the bottom that I used on Daredevil tiny tactical glove tops which are awesome and uh, I've used them on a lot of minifigures and I had to use them on all three of these minifigures 
the quiver uses the same design that I've used on all my arrow quivers pretty much and I've used this arrow quiver design since 2013 it's just a it's paper with a lot of glue a lot of paint a little bit of sculpting work on the bottom and an actual like the top half of an actual or I guess why I wouldn't say the top half but just the, like the actual arrow uh, portion of um, Lego's arrow quiver glued into the top of it and it's uh, not easy to make but uh, I'm still able to replicate it each time I, I need to for minifigures such as this the neck brace is heavily sanded to make sure he doesn't look like a freaking dinosaur long neck and you know big different things like that to make sure that the actual arrow quiver you know worked out and uh, you know looks good for this minifigure and it is fully removable obviously because the quiver is glued onto that uh, neck brace um, but I'm not going to remove it for this video you get the idea but anyway you can see that we do have like uh, like the actual pouches like painted onto the sides of the legs I, I wouldn't even be able to tell you what they actually are they look like different maybe like unique types of arrowheads for certain situations or maybe darts I don't know but I didn't do I do my best to make sure I painted them on here and then on this side here and then the straps are obviously uh, they are all consistent they go from the front of the leg all the way to the side and they are all outlined this minifigure has a ton of detail you have I mean I, I know I've pretty much said that but I couldn't emphasize it enough the detail does actually wrap around uh, the arms by the way because uh, that's pretty much just the way the design is for the new suit and I couldn't fit everything I wanted to on the arms but I am pretty happy with what I was able to fit on so I mean this minifigure was definitely a bit of a challenge because of that hood and how difficult that was to make but the head the torso and a lot of different things that really make this minifigure come together uh, just make me really proud of it as a whole and I think uh, it just turned out awesome so yeah definitely let me know what you think though down in the comments and uh, yeah there you go next up we have Black Canary the proper Black Canary because obviously uh, Sarah was pretty much just the Canary but uh, I guess minor spoilers here I guess they're really not minor if you haven't watched uh, Arrow season 3 or if you're planning on watching the series so I mean this is a bit of a spoiler so definitely skip ahead uh, or maybe just skip to the Diggle segment now that you've I guess sort of seen the figure but anyway yeah so the Laurel Black Canary here is uh, definitely different than the Sarah Canary because uh, the design of her suit is pretty much entirely unique I mean everything about it is pretty much her own and uh, I'd say the only thing that was repetitive when making this version of the Canary you know Laurel now uh, was probably the arms because the arms do pretty much use almost the same design as uh, the Sarah Canary but anyway yeah so this just it, it almost felt like I was painting Catwoman in a sense because uh, it's just that type of suit um, but I did use the area like curved torso as always if you can't see that right there and also the, uh, for the accessories you can see she does have her nightstick and uh, there's supposed to be a ball at the end of the nightstick but I mean if I were to find one or if I were to sculpt one or whatever to glue it on I just feel like it wouldn't really work and it just I, it, I figured I'd just leave it the way it is and what this is actually um, this is actually a, a brick forged nightstick you can see it right there uh, just with the top uh, sliced off and then painted over to smooth it out so I mean that's pretty much it a little bit of sanding and buffing went into that too to make sure it was really as smooth as I could get it so that that slice really wasn't too noticeable but uh, yeah so that's pretty much it for her nightstick so we're just going to get it out of the way for now uh, so you can see the rest of the minifigure here and uh, the hair piece is uh, what pretty much was a given I mean I was going to make Laurel in her Black Canary suit like last year but uh, I decided to wait until Arrow season 4 and uh, this hair piece was pretty much the plan right from the start but for whatever reason and this didn't happen with Scarlet Witch because I used this hair piece on her too but every time I pulled the hair off it would scratch something off the face and I'm just like gosh damn it so what I did was I took a drill and just carved the crap out of the inside of the hair piece um, but if we go ahead and remove it you can see that the face like I just said there is fully painted and uh, I think this is probably my favorite part of the minifigure I can't decide between the face and the detail on her thighs because uh, it just all turned out really awesome and the likeness of Katie Cassidy I think is definitely there and looks really awesome and uh, the lips have like the dark dark red kind of color that she uses as lipstick um, uh, you know in the series so I mean yeah the suit though itself is just a lot of gray and dark gray lines along with their her her like her share of buttons because uh, this suit as well does have a ton of buttons on it but um yeah you can see I do have all the painted on there I mean like I said all these minifigures are fully 100% hand painted but uh, painting like gray lines that you can see right here and then painting a black line through it and then a button on top of it that I couldn't screw up because then I'd have to correct these lines that was definitely challenging for the front of the torso but then the back is uh, kind of a sad story because all of the detail that I did paint onto the back it's all there it's just once the hair piece goes on it's not so I mean it's there I wanted to make sure it was even though the hair piece does cover up half of it I didn't want to just like paint on half of the detail onto the torso so I decided to go all out and it is all painted on there you can see the detail uh, on her legs is uh, definitely the, one of the more intricate parts about making this minifigure and was definitely one of the more time consuming elements you can see um, there's a lot of straps you have all the, the the lines that continue
continue like all the way to the sides of each leg. You even have, uh, you know, like the buckles and uh, the different, uh, you know, like the actual belt buckles themselves on the belt piece and then on the, uh, like the middle part of the belt piece. And then these straps were definitely uh, one of the more difficult parts, I think, about making the minifigure. I mean, the detail was time consuming, but the straps were difficult because uh, getting straps to be consistent, wrapping around all four sides of a leg is not easy, especially when you have three sets and then buckles that have to be painted onto the sides of each of those straps. So the buckles and uh, the straps do continue around all four sides of the leg. And obviously the, the detail on like the green arrow does continue around all sides of the legs. I forgot to point that out because I didn't a little bit earlier. Um, but anyway, yeah, so the buckles, they, uh, they're all painted on there and all pretty much the same size. And I mean, I tried to keep them the same size as each strap. I didn't want them to like uh, go, you know, straight too far off of the strap itself. And then the detail on the actual feet is a little bit minimal because there really isn't a lot for me to paint onto her feet. So, I mean, she does use tiny tactical glove tops as well, like I pointed out for all three of these minifigures and a little bit of a darker shade of black right here where the zipper is. And I mean, all the detail is there. And I, thankfully, I had a lot of reference to go off of because I pretty much waited a year to make this minifigure. So, I mean, it's been a long time. And so I had a lot of reference to go off of. So, you know, that, that wasn't a, exactly a challenge, but uh, getting the paint right and using so much, you know, painting so many different gray lines and making sure it all looked clean was definitely the more challenging part. But I think the face, the straps, the buckles, the detail on her thighs and everything about the figure uh, really turned out awesome. So, I mean, yeah, there you go. There's the Laurel Black Canary. And finally, we have Diggle in his season four suit. And uh, I really never saw myself making a Diggle figure up until he got this new helmet mask thing and uh, the jacket. I mean, he's got a lot of cool stuff to his new outfit that uh, definitely was worth, you know, me making a figure. But uh, we got to talk about the helmet. I mean, first and foremost, I found out last minute, like when I was finishing up this figure, I was just like, I, I found this picture because I just, I had to watch a TV spot and I had to pause it. And then I saw that guys, it's not even a helmet. It's, it's a mask. I mean, people are complaining that it looks like Magneto's helmet, and yeah, it does, but it's like not even Magneto's helmet. It's like half of Magneto's helmet, and then it has like these weird straps on the back, and I was just like, well, I already did more than enough drilling on the inside of Black Canary's hairpiece. I am not going to drill out the inside, or at least the back half of this helmet, and just possibly destroy the paintwork that I had already done. I was just not doing it. So I left the helmet the way it was, and as you can see, the back is completely inaccurate. And to be honest, given how last minute I found out, and just generally how stupid it kind of looks on the show, I don't care. I'm le I decided to leave it the way it is, because honestly, on a Lego minifigure, I think this looks better. So I decided to just keep it the way it was and screw his weird helmet mask thing, whatever the hell it is. Um, but regardless, if we go ahead and then you might notice, by the way, the, the lines, the buttons, all the individual little bolts and everything, they're all on, they're all painted on. Um, but if we go ahead and remove his Magneto helmet, you can see that we, your mask thing, you can see that we do have the David Ramsey face. And on the bottom of it, I do actually have like the strap or like the chin strap that's on the bottom uh, of the helmet or mask thing. I can't decide what to call it. Um, yeah, but anyway, yeah, so the, uh, the likeness to David Ramsey, I think, was uh, definitely turned out really awesome and thankfully didn't require, like, too many attempts. It was probably, like, my second or third attempt before I finally landed on this face, and I think it looks really awesome. Um, you can see on his torso, this is, it's a very minimal amount of uh, paintwork on his torso. What you see is really all that's there. There's, like, nothing on the side, so I'm not going to remove the jacket. Um, but speaking of the jacket, um, it's got this, like, pattern on it, like, these holes almost, if you look at the real thing, and I don't know what they are what's you know purpose they're meant to serve on the actual on the real jacket but I did paint it on here and uh, you can see dot for dot it, it it's all there and I think it really tops off the minifigure because if this pattern wasn't painted on if I decided not to do it which I really don't see why I would have um it would have looked really really uh, empty and flat I think so I'm glad I painted that on and by the way his jacket is a modified uh Cape Madness AR jacket with the top of it cut off his gun uh is is another thing that uh, is inaccurate about the figure unfortunately because his gun they're really aren't any Lego guns like in circulation and there really like aren't any like um, third party guns that would make uh, you know then you know that, that looks similar to uh, Stiggles new gun that he got from Star Labs so all I did was I took a minifig cat pistol I forget which type this is and I painted like a little bit of gold on top to at least make it look somewhat like 
uh, the one that he's going to have on the show. So unfortunately, the helmet and pistol are inaccurate. But uh, it's just it basically became my own spin on the figure. Uh, on the figure, words. Um, then he's also got tiny tactical glove tops, and on his legs, he's got a lot of lines similar to design to the Death Star Troopers that I like to use a lot. He's got the straps on there, the same sort of lace design, just with a go with gunmetal um, actual like buttons instead of the silver that I used on Green Arrow. He's got minimal detail on like the uh, bottom of his boots because there's not a lot for me to paint on. This is actually kind of similar to the design I used on Quicksilver's boots in Age of Ultron. He's got a tiny tactical pouch on the side of this leg. It's nice to finally be able to use one of those again. Painted lines on the inside of that as well, along with this like um this like third I guess like three dimensional um like gun holster. And this is actually made out of the same material that I used to like make uh, Flash's lightning bolts, for instance, on him in the Reverse Flash. It's the same material that I used here, like that rubber stuff. Um, so yeah, I just cut that out and glued that on with a little bit of paint and sealant to turn down really, really awesome, man. So aside from that, that's really it for um, Dignito, I guess. You're not the arrow. He died. So who are you? I'm the green arrow. That's real creative. All right, guys, and there you go. The showcase video for the premiere of Arrow Season 4. And if you enjoyed the showcase video, maybe you found yourself inspired to make your own Arrow Season 4 minifigures, be sure to let me know by dropping this video a like below and or your opinion on any of the minifigures down in the comments. As uh, given how much time I put into these minifigures, your opinions are the reason I do this. And uh, yeah, but I mean, aside from that, though, guys, I've got a lot of cool stuff in the works that you'll see over on my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram first. So definitely follow those three things if you're interested down in the description below, as always because uh, there you're going to be seeing my Fallout 4 power armor soon thanks to uh, Bricks Alive along with uh, my Halo 5 Guardians minifigures also thanks to Bricks Alive and uh, Sonder from Flickr a collaboration project that'll probably potentially be my next showcase at the end of this month so I mean there's a lot of cool stuff coming up and uh, I definitely recommend you follow those three things because like I said it, I always say it's way easier for me to post over there than it is to fully edit and record the showcase videos when the minifigures are finished but uh, yeah I know some of you guys are going to say in the comments why didn't I make Speedy and I mean it's not really that I didn't want to make Speedy because of course I would have loved to have had her for this this video but it's like three figures was honestly I thought enough for this video because I really didn't want to put any more on myself because I've already got a lot of minifigures of course and I try to limit it to what I think is is reasonable and I mean I can definitely see myself making Thea in her new uh, speedy suit you know somewhere down the line and possibly even Damien Dark because he looks really awesome it's just I can't do everyone when I want to but I'm glad I was at least able to do these three because to be honest I wasn't even sure if Diggle was going to make it that's how like close I came to uh, not even finish him for this video so I mean you know speedy is definitely a possibility but you can definitely uh, stay tuned for my Jay Garrick and zoom showcase video that I'll be doing for the flash season two uh, so you get at least a month or two down the line when we actually get better looks at those characters but I mean aside from that though guys that's really all I wanted to mention before ending this video so I think I'm gonna uh, cap it off there and I will see you guys later all right Bye. They only doing the talk about them later. You can see that. <sighs> so I've got three figures, and the figures being shit. I returned home with only one goal: to save my city, and I did. I became a hero who helped people. But now it's time for me to be someone else. It's time for me to be something else. Hey man, we kind of need you to come back. Okay! This is Michael and GF, and today- Wait, hang on, shit. Dude, I honestly never saw myself- My- <laughs> What's wrong guys, this is Michael- Wait, I already did the intro. What have you done to my helmet? No wait, listen man, it's not how it looks, I can explain-